Whoa, those look amazing. They tasted even better. I'm sure. And if you think those <laughs> s'mores are mind blowing, wait till you see the unique and amazing things these mm. artists have made. Teresa Strasser has interesting and eye catching art on the buzz list. Teresa. Thanks, guys. We bet you will not be able to look away from these unique pieces of art. Coming in at number one, hair art. This is not your average haircut. Gabe Galarza of Palm Beach County, Florida's Blurry Fades Barbershop carves works of art into people's hair. He even won first place at what's called the Super Bowl for Barbers, the Connecticut Barber Expo, for recreating this half gorilla, half lion from a random photo in just a little over an hour. When I looked at it, I kind of was just like, <laughs> wow, really? You only get one shot at it. It's not like a pencil where you can use the eraser. There's people that do yoga. There's people that do meditation. It's, it's relaxing for me. Yeah, it's like meditating. Except instead of hearing ohm, you hear bzzz. At number two, Calligraffiti Buffalo, New York's Mohammed Zaman combines calligraphy with graffiti to create murals that are popping up all over his city. He intertwines three different languages, that's English, Bengali, Arabic, with the hope of bringing people together. Three very socially opposed group of people, they, when they see the artwork, uh, they're able to see some resemblance of, uh, the, of their own letters. Definitely makes you go back for a second and a third look. And third on our list of interesting art forms, urban toys. Tampa, Florida's Ryan Swanson created the Urban Conga. That's a collection of urban toys meant to encourage people to meet up and have fun. Their interactive art installations are popping up everywhere. A lot of people have a tendency, especially as we grow older, to not want to play. Young kids will immediately run over to anything that we put out that's colorful and are engaging in any way and engage with it. But it's always the adults that it's always kind of interesting to see. But one thing we found is the adults actually end up playing longer than the kids. It just takes them a bit longer to engage with it. Good lesson, kids and adults. We all need to get out there and play. And those are some extraordinary takes on art on the buzz list. Wow, I'm pretty sure I failed art class, but mm. it's because I wasn't quite thinking outside the box like those guys. Outside the box? I can't even color inside the lines. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back.